All right. So, <laughs> I guess my nephew's son has been looking at the video I posted. Because every time I came out my bedroom today, he came, if he was in the living room, he comes out into the hallway. If he was in the other bedroom, he comes out into the hallway. And so he's waiting, waiting to see how I was leaving. Because they've been sending me subliminal messages about leaving. If I leave the house, I get arrested. <laughs> right? So he's waiting. He's standing at the corner up there. See him over there, down there with the red hat on. I don't know if you can see it. And as I'm putting up my shoes, getting ready to walk out the house, he leaves. Right? So I guess that's why he's getting all that scholarship that uh supposed to be coming his way. You know, this is how they recruit them and pay them. Okay? I talked about this. As a matter of fact, you go into, like I talk about the, uh, is it the Guardian or the uh, Intercept. And you can go and find documentation released through the Freedom of Information Act about the FBI use of children giving their parents permission to use their children as snitches and all this other stuff for money, for payment. See, this is how they controlled us. Yeah, choke on it. <laughs> this is a little Jewish kid. Oh, he coughing, yeah. As I said, choke on it. Every time they cough at me, I'm gonna say choke on it. So yeah, so this is how they get to us. This is how they use us, to money. Divide and conquer tactics that we walk around here as if nothing is going on and we're not at war. This is our conditioning. Our conditioning to ignorance into avoidance right but we're always in conflict with each other but when it comes to white supremacy and white supremacy we avoid that subject like a plague we don't want to talk about it we don't want to deal with it you know we don't want to do none of those things but they can come into the community and and Manipulate, set us up, using all sorts of tactics and tricks. And we're short-sighted and, like I said, ignorant. That we don't fully understand what's going on. And we don't want to understand. Okay? We don't want to understand. I was looking at the video with Professor James Smalls. You know, these are the people that we should be listening to that are alive today. Professor James Small. Okay, Dr. Claude Anderson. All right, uh, who else? Uh, 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 um, Cheryl, ha Cheryl, Haz Cheryl Hazard Ali. All right, and there's many others. Uh, Anthony Burr. All right, but these are the people who we ignore. But well, we'll buy books from white artists who tell us lies about our history, who deceive us on a daily basis and lie to us. And you know, as I said, I, I always said about Malcolm X, and that's why you're such a great man. And black people let him down, and the Black Panther is that they will have you hating the people trying to wake you up, trying to free you from your mental oppression while loving the people oppressing you. So in our community, they're using money, and particularly black women, with a, I'm an independent mindset, and I don't need no man type of BS, right? Because they're independent and they can do whatever they want. Well, guess what? Yeah, you're independent. You know, constantly looking for a fake love that they tell you that's that's what you deserve. Right? But they don't tell you that you have to put in the work to get the kind of love you, you, you deserve. But for too many black women, the main emphasis is not on love. It's on a dollar number right in exchange for sex and that's basically what it is 
right? So, if you're making a lot of money, they give up the pussy. I'm sorry for using that word, but it, it is what it is, right? And they don't care, a lot of them don't care if you have three and four different women that you with. And you know the funny thing about it, they think that going to nice restaurants, driving in the car that the man is driving because it's a nice car. You know, they go over to his house once in a while, they have sex, and that's it, right? But there's no commitment on those men part. There's no commitment, there's no duty, there's no honor. Same with these women. Because if that man, something happened and is not able to maintain that lifestyle, guess what happened? They bail, they run, right? On to the next, okay? And this is the uh, infection that white supremacy and white supremacy has taught us. Men and black men and black women. So, don't think I'm only talking about black women. I just emphasize on that the most because I'm a man. And I've dealt with them. Okay, the good and the bad. You know? But it doesn't mean that we can't understand what's going on and really change things around. Because we can't. The question is, do we want to? Okay. All right, kind of turned around. Yeah, so as I was saying, right? So we could turn it off. Look at this clown over here in the red again. <laughs> so we can turn this shit around, but do we want to? Are we so comfortable in our oppression that we're totally ignorant to our pain, or are we just selfish in the fact that we're just thinking about ourselves, right? And not thinking about the next generation. Okay? Because every other group have paved the way for the next generation. They didn't think about themselves. You know? They believe in the social responsibility to make things better for the next generation. Unless she's going to stop right there. You know? But that's what they do. Alright? That's what they what she want me to show. <laughs> the Arizona with the dollar. With the one dollar bullshit. <laughs> right? Because again, when I used to go on job interviews, they used to send their perps in front of the establishment and they would take out a dollar and show it to me. All right? So, you see the guy with the red shirt at the corner. All right? So, yeah, yeah. All right? So, anyway. Um, you know, this is psychological conditioning. All right? And I understand what it is that they're doing. All right? That's the only way you're going to understand it and put it out there for people so that they know instead of them trying to guess you know if they understand 80 percent of what's being done to them they have a better sh chance of uh exposing it and um you know taking whatever action necessary that they can if they can to either stop it to bring it to the attention of others so that they can get help and I'm just talking about telling them that it's in their head and, you know, they need to see a, a, a therapist. I'm talking about people taking action to stop these gang stalkers in the community and uh, by, by realizing that, you know, this is not about helping anyone, but it's about destroying someone and using whatever means, no matter, no matter how legitimate it may seem. You come out there, look, look, red shirt, red, 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 look, 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 <laughs> you come out there running now, look, okay, look, look, so I want you to, I want you to understand the mentality of these people, right, and look, he's sticking his finger in his ears, so I want you to understand the mentality of these people, okay, and how they, and how they behave, all right, so now, look, they're all stepping out now. Right? Yeah. Look, they all stepping out now. As soon as I, I approach it. See what I tell you. What I tell you, it never fails. It never fails. And they're so obvious. Right? <laughs> right? So like I said, they, they, they are they are so obvious in what they're doing. Yeah, sweetheart, you're gonna cry. 
I know you are. You must definitely cry. She might have been away. She might have been away tears. Right? So before I was leaving, my sister came in my bedroom and she li literally kissed her pointed finger and then stick her thumb out at me. Right? Because again, this is what they do and how they try to silence you. Is to say that if you're talking about what it is that they're doing to you, right, then you're guilty of whatever it is that they say. Understand the game that's being played in order to silence people from not coming forth and shedding a light on these evil motherfuckers and the shit that they're doing. And they're walking around here and driving whatever, acting as if they have, uh, see this woman in the van, in, I mean a car passing by, she literally had her legs open up and her, her hands between her legs. <laughs> Right? I guess they're trying to say, oh, okay, they banned me from getting pussy. Wow. Okay. Uh, hey, that's not a problem. That That is not a problem. Because I tell you what, what us men need to start doing is start fucking these women who want to act as if, you know, because sex to them is a service that we got to pay for right we don't charge them for sex right and it's because they've been taught that their pussy is a prize okay <laughs> that's what they've been taught right so they don't look at it as having an even exchange with a man of sexual pleasure they look at it that if a man got to be with them and sleep with them he has to pay for it Right? So, as men, black men, any man, black men, white men, Asian men, Hispanic men, take a stand. If, if you meet a woman who feels that her shit is a prize, then you act as if your shit is a prize. I make her work for it. Just as much as she wants you to work for it by having all of this, you make sure she have all of what she's asking for from you okay then we'll see how things goes right because again the division is real white supremacy is behind it all you know and I don't understand how is it that I very few people like myself understand what's going on I mean I do understand <laughs> but I don't understand how more people is not being awakened to what's going on. You know? And I was talking, I was uh, again listening to Professor James Small, and he talks about the HIV epidemic in Atlanta with black men and black women. Black women in Atlanta is the highest rate of any group of people in Atlanta that are positive for HIV. Second is black men. Okay, so you tell me, right? Where's the public safety? Where's the national security? Right? You look at the other STD rates, such as uh, herpes, right? Over 120 something million Americans have it. Where's the national security? Right? Where's the public safety? You look at other sexually transmitted diseases like chlamydia, which is the number, I believe, the number one uh, STDs, uh, people get infected with STD in the country. Where is, this, where is this, the public safety? Where is the national security? So they only want to pick and choose when it's public safety, when it's national security, when it benefits them, and when they have an agenda. And we have to understand that, right? Because if you go in the poor white community area, right, which is very rampant in STDs, and also uh, and also even like mono, mono, which is a kissing disease, very prominent within white people, particularly white teenagers and young white people, right? Because they're kissing on their dogs and have their dog putting their tongue in their mouth, all the shit that they that they do, right? Where's the public safety? Where's the, you know? So like I said, black people, you gotta wake up and open up your eyes. Wake up and understand what's going on. Okay? 
like wake up really truly understand all right yeah so you know but i'm gonna continue to spread my message to expose what's being done and hopefully more and more people people will get to understand what's really happening here and really get to see you know what's taking place and and so they don't and so they won't be fooled you know what I'm saying? That's what we gotta do. Yeah, walk with your head. Bow your head, motherfucker. Yeah, stick your tongue out. Fuck you too. <laughs> yeah, pop. Hope you choke on it. <laughs> He's over there looking at the house. Over there.